Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to tune an amp again. I did one previously. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. Um, it was quite a. It was a couple months ago, but I just want to make a, a follow up video with my new set, with my uh, new setup. I got the Redodo battery, 100 amp hour lithium, uh, uh, two American Bass Elite, and my 3K temp, uh, Tempano amplifier. And I'm going to show you how to set your gains and set everything on a bass amp. I also have my SMD meter right here. I'll turn that on and put it on dyno mode just to show you how much watts are pushing through. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys. So I set everything back to zero um, like that. So I set everything back to zero and I'm going to show you how to set every single um, every single mode on the on your amplifier. And I got my SMD meter right here. All right, guys, so before we set our gains, I'm going to set the low-pass filter. Um, when setting the low-pass filter, it does kind of affect the clipping a little bit. So normally, the gold standards are going to be about 60 to 80, I'd say. And I'm just going to use the print on the amplifier, but sometimes it's not accurate. So if you want, you can use your ears, play the frequency, and adjust it like, like that. But let me just uh, do it like this. All right, guys, so 250 minus 30 is going to be... 220 and 220 divided by 2 is going to be 110 so halfway would be 110 and I just set it a little bit below halfway as you can see on the LPF so now we can set our gains which is the, going to be the level right here so let's do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a frequency of 20 hertz to 60 hertz uh, for setting the gains I found that that really is the best because it shows every frequency if it clips or if it does not clip so let me do that real quick all right guys when setting the gains on my uh, current setup i do have a loose uh, rear deck speaker that i need to fix so if you hear the like a really bad rattle it seriously it's nothing to worry about i just need to tighten down a um a uh, couple screws and i'll do that later um, this week, but I, I didn't have it, enough time to do it. So that's what you hear if you hear the rattle and let's get into it Right, guys so as you can see i set it to the right below clipping uh with the 20 hertz to 60 hertz frequency going and it did not clip when i was setting these gains so it's about it's set pretty low um i have it pushed 1800 uh 1800 watts through um don't worry i'm gonna get a new alternator which will bump up this number a lot uh, but you want clean power guys next we're gonna set our subsonic filter and yeah so for people who don't know what a subsonic filter is it is basically a filter that blocks off low frequencies from over excursion on your subwoofer so you don't tear out a spider uh, when you have uh, a 3000 watt amp pushing uh, like normally it's gonna be one sub because um, I, bl I blew out a spider when I was pushing one with a uh, subsonic on zero. So you just want to set it to, normally you want to set it to, uh, I think it's the tuning of the box. I could be wrong on that, but uh, I'd set it to probably like 20, 25, just so it blocks those really low frequencies. Or it doesn't really block it, it just, it just makes it a little bit softer. And yeah, so right now I'm going to keep my subsonic off because... Um, these American bases can actually handle the heat. And uh, if, I, if I start pushing 3K through with a new alternator, I may turn it, turn it up a little bit. But so far, it's been doing pretty well. No, um, no torn spiders, no sub blown, so yeah. All right guys, next is gonna be the bass boost. So ba on this uh, amplifier, we have bass boost and then the frequency you wanna boost. Um, so basically, I really do not like using bass boost. It can go up to 10 decibels and the hertz is gonna be 30 to 70 hertz. If you set it on 30, it's gonna do it's gonna boost the lower frequencies. And I guess 70 is gonna boost the higher frequencies for um for bass. But honestly guys, do not use bass boost. I know 
it, it, I know some people it's going to be very tempting because you're going to get more base from your subwoofers. But all it's going to do, guys, is it's going to clip and it's going to heat up your coil and you could actually blow your subwoofers. So I really do not suggest using base boost on subwoofers. All right, if you're one of those people who actually do not have a clip meter, you can uh, normally you can buy one on Amazon. I normally use the Taramps clip meter for my uh, when I'm when I'm doing uh, uh, tuning the gains, or you can be more like a pro and do the uh, fuck I forgot what the name was called, but I'll pop it up on the screen. Uh, it's this thing you can set your gains real easily. It's the best way to set gains but I do not have one. So, I mean, it is what it is. For those who don't have subsonic filters, you can actually do it with a high pass filter and the low pass filter. Um, if you set it correctly, you can actually mimic a subsonic filter, which is what I did for, uh, in my previous video when I had my Taramps um, 3K. It was a uh, HD 3K, so it, it was not the base edition. But overall, guys, this, that's how you tune an actual uh, amplifier. And I've been doing this for a little bit now. The uh, the Timpano Bass 3K, this thing has, has done me well. It's not blown up on me like a uh, Tarim's Bass 3K did. Um, and yeah, guys, if you liked this video, like this type of content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And I'll see you later. Peace, guys. I've been on my own too long